Hey guys, welcome to Operation White Noise. So this is the official name for the South Korean season that has just been released and sounds cool. Let's go over everything real quick and then I'm going to actually go really down the rabbit hole with some more information I've managed to gather. So let's start with their brand new blog post here that talks about Operation White Noise and gives us an idea of what's coming. So they talk about first that this game has been going for almost two full years. So it launched December 1st, 2015. And they say they're now going to go into year three, which I'm not surprised. I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by that because the game currently is just growing and growing and growing. And so far, doesn't appear to be slowing down, which of course is really good for anyone who likes playing Rainbow. Then they talk about how the year two got kicked off with the six invitationals. Uh, I think they got off to a really good start here with Jackal and Mira for year two. Of course, we then had Operation Health, which kind of slowed everything down. But it did add the technical test server and one step matchmaking, which for me definitely has changed the whole game. And yeah, they're, uh, they've are they been developing for a long term future with Rainbow. And most recently, most recently Operation Blood Orchid. Uh, re reopened the abandoned Hong Kong theme park. But anyway, let's move on to the more exciting stuff. So, two new operators will be coming from the 707th Special, Mish Special Mission Battalion, which matches up exactly with the leak of the South Korean operator, with the 707 on her hat. So I'm going to say that operator is confirmed. I'm going to say probably bang on, and I think that leak's perfect. So the attacker is stubborn and daring, while the defender is methodical and tedious. It doesn't give us a clue about any gadgets or anything like that. So, you know, not that, nothing you really get from that. And they're also bringing a new Grom operator into the mix, known for their resilience and bravery. So we're going to go over that very soon because I've been digging more up on uh, potentially our Polish operator. And for the map, we are looking at, uh, well, pretty much <laughs> describes exactly what it is. It's a, a pristine observation tower high above uh, the skyline. So these are pictures of what we're probably going to get. And the picture back here, which will show full screen, um, it probably shows exactly kind of the centerpiece. So whatever that is, a dragon, a tiger or a goblin or whatever, that is probably the centerpiece and the rest of it is glass. And yeah, there'll be a glass floor, potentially glass roof. I'm wondering if you can shoot out the glass floor and people will fall to their death. Uh, and it does seem like we're probably getting a skyscraper again, which is pretty cool. Now, this is really interesting. Make room for more firepower in your storage locker as we've got new weapons to satisfy your craving for more choices in dealing out devastation. What? Is that just the new operator's guns? Or is that new weapons for older operators? Like, that sounds interesting. That definitely piques my interest a lot. And uh, we're ending the year on a high note, but there's a lot more to come. And check out our blog really for more updates on what's coming up and catch the action at the Pro League Finals in Sao Paulo, happening November 18th and 19th. And that will be on Twitch TV forward slash Rainbow Six. And it will probably launch the Tuesday after that. And uh, that's my prediction anyway. So we'll see if that ends up being true or if it does not. Now moving on. So I have been digging more and more into the potential Polish operators background and try to figure out exactly what we're, we've got going on here. So first of all, I was able to find this higher resolution version of the teaser from the other day that looks really good, really, really good. This was on the French uh, Rainbow Six Twitter. And uh, let's take a look at the details on Ella's page here. So this is Ella's story page. So this first picture is Ella with her passport. We don't know where she is. Uh, it kind of has a similarity though to the teaser we've seen. The window outside has a similar kind of thing, but it looks a lot darker inside. This looks like she's setting up for a mission. It's all grimy. You can see here that Ella's logo has been sketched out. So it could be that this is close to her recruitment into Rainbow Six. And this is kind of her sketching up her unique logo that she would obviously use when part of Rainbow. But there's so much to see in here that before we didn't see. 
Suddenly, a lot of this is very different when you read it again. So you probably already noticed the unseen and silent. This has also been pointed out that this is also the name of one of her pistol skins in the game as well. So this is connection to her grandfather. And as you can see, he was an elite paratrooper in the ex exiled uh, Polish army during World War II. This is exactly what we see in the teaser image on that patch on the leather coat as well for this potentially other Polish opera. And uh, after being captured during the Warsaw Uprising, he managed to escape and ended up in a three month long siege. And this goes on here to talk about how he was a significant role in her life. So I still carry a piece of his uniform everywhere I go. And this is on her character model in the game. And through his tales of war, he nurtured Ella's defiant spirit and taught her that higher damage is done by striking a supply chain than by neutralizing a man. While these lessons made her a prolific counter-IED operator, Ella initially struggled to commit to these strict military lifestyles. And then over here you can see her full name, and uh, of course she's becoming a part of Team Rainbow, uh, nicknamed Ella. Uh, this driven 30-year-old has an unconventional progression uh, having quickly risen among Poland Special Forces, she was deployed in six countries and active in Iraq for seven years. So that's a hell of a lot of experience right there. But reading this back now, this is definitely one of the most interesting paragraphs, I think, compared to when I read this originally when it was originally released and reading it now. I think uh, this part here is by far the most interesting little bit. So her exploits should come as no surprise, considering that she is the youngest daughter. Interesting that they make that distinction, that she is the youngest daughter. That would definitely assume that there is an eldest daughter, wouldn't it? So the idea that she has a sister, kind of looking pretty good here. I would say, you know, there obviously is another daughter if she's the youngest. And the fact they don't see the, the youngest child... You know, it definitely seems to be going all female there. And of course, we've got her father. Uh, a former commander in the Poland's counterterrorism unit, Grom. Despite uh, his legacy, Ella is not the stiff. Again, this is an interesting sentence. Ella is not the stiff soldier one would expect. So I'm wondering if potentially, if there's indeed is a sister coming into the game for Ella, if the sister is going kind to of have a polar opposite. So maybe the sister is indeed the stiff soldier. You know, the one who has gone up the rank to captain. That appears to be the rank that she does indeed have on her hat. It does match up with the actual ranks. So she's not a general, but she is a captain. That's still pretty high up rank. And if she is indeed the stiff soldier, you would expect that would be the case that she probably would get up to the rank of captain. And especially if she is the elder daughter, she'd have a bit more time to get there. So I think, you know, we got something interesting going on there. Then we've got more about our defiance, uh, where she experienced difficulty in the military high school. She was given special attention because she was the commander's daughter, which meant she got bullied. And her records mention an incident six months before graduation, which caused her to be expelled. Uh, and she had a short-lived uh, transition in another academy before her lack of attendance caused her to be transferred to a small local high school. And after graduation, she went off and she did fine arts. But her interest uh, started to fade as the appeal of her old life slowly caught up with her. Now again, we move on to something interesting. So we have the skull, which appears in the teaser as well, and is framed. So more than likely, this would be the father that would put this artwork up, not a sister or a brother. So more than likely, it's in the father's study, maybe. And I would say that because uh, this image of Ella here is from the past and this image of Ella here is also from the past, I think we can assume that the teaser is also from the past. So it might be when her father killed himself and it's showing that other Polish operator, pro let's just say it's her sister, we'll just jump to that conclusion. So it's her sister there. She's potentially there just after his death, maybe. She's got the pocket watch that is probably her father's. She's wearing the jacket that would be her grandfather's. It's kind of odd that Ella has a piece of her grandfather's uniform, but then the other daughter has a leather 
coat from my grandfather, which is obviously way bigger than a little scrap of uniform. But it would make sense, I guess, for an elder daughter to probably get the bigger piece of heritage from the family. So maybe that's the case. But it's kind of interesting that both of them look up to the, the grandfather, it would seem anyway. And I'm guessing the pocket watch is probably to do with the father. Um, so I think that maybe it takes place after the death of the father. This may be heard you know, doing the really hard part when a parent dies of having to go through everybody's stuff. And especially when Ella isn't actually there, which we'll go over soon as well. So yeah, this artwork appears in that teaser. This has also been brought to my attention. This could be the sister. Like every picture we've seen of Ella, she kind of has hair that kind of comes down to her neck or her shoulders. And we don't see it any shorter. Whereas this is very short hair very different style she does as, as well she looks like she's looking at whoever's doing this illustration probably a little bit disprovingly she doesn't look like a self-portrait so this could be the sister this could be the new operator we're looking at she does have a mole as well which is in the same place as the one in the leak also though ella kind of has a mole in the same position as well so it's not definitive that this is the sister this could be ella and it could be a friend but considering they seem to have woven this story so deeply to give us such incredible teases that uh, I would probably say that just purely assuming that they're building out a lot of information into this story here that this probably is the sister and probably is the new operator that's coming to Rainbow Six Siege. There's also been, a, I think, a bit of a jump as well that this could actually be the sister too. You know, has the same hat as the sister and it might be looking at the sister kind of in an evil way but I can't, I think it's a, way big, a, a really big jump to get there what I would like to point out though in this is the detail look at the signature oh Ella signature on these love that someone's gone to the, the trouble of designing these it looks awesome really cool now it does bring up a question is this more significant than you would think if these two end up being the sister could this also be something important like, I don't think it's the father. The face hasn't got any detail in it. I doubt it's the grandfather because it looks very modern. And there is this big shadow getting made by what could just be the gun off this operator, but it could also be something more gadgety, something you might see in Rainbow. But there's not enough detail to go on, so I don't think we can see anything else in that. Now, we get more details of Ella's background. She was uh, part of the private military company and they were working out of Iraq and then during her first years of deployment in Iraq she gained a reputation on the field uh, known to possess an impressive range of abilities her attitude was the only obstacle so still having attitude issues here which I'm guessing her sister did not and you know went straight up the ranks in the military uh, well she was seen as a prize addition to any squad her employer, employers mentioned, uh, monitored her closely to investigate reports of authority issues. So a real rebel is Ella. And I think her sister is the opposite. And I'm, you know, I'm totally jumping to conclusions that it is the sister. I'm still not convinced that it's going to be. It could still be a guy. But it just seems a little too convenient in this story with all the kind of references and stuff. And... After a rough operation in Baghdad, she received the news that her father had taken his own life. Now, this is the bit of information, considering how thick this story is, we don't actually get to know why her father took his own life. There's no backstory to it whatsoever. Considering the backstory to everything else here, there's very little about that. And that makes me wonder if the sister had something to do with it, especially if they were both in Grum and both working in the same special forces but it's hard to know this is also why i think the other the teaser showing the person looking at the uh looking at the watch i think is the older sister in the like father's study after his death because she's having it clear out whereas ella is actually in Iraq at this point, so she can't go back and actually help with that. So I, I think it's his sister that's doing that. I think that's probably where that is in the timeline. Purely guessing here, like I'm putting uh, hardly any information together to get this kind of stuff. But now we have uh, this, which is 
very personal and it's an actual quote from Ella, like maybe something she wrote in the diary or something. Uh, I don't recall the night patrol that followed. I just remember uh, clutching my grandfather's uniform, trying to picture the last time I talked with my father. This letter was the last account uh, from home she received since she had left Poland four years prior. And of course the picture here is Ella with her M4. So this is her on her night patrol in Iraq. So she had an M4 in Iraq. This is her holding her grandfather's uniform, which is present on her character model. So if you actually want to check, go into Rainbow, you can actually see this actually on her character model at all times. Which again is interesting if the older sister has an entire jacket from her grandfather and then Ella has this little scrap of a uniform. So then we've got Determined. And uh, months uh, after her father's death, Ella terminated her contract and trained relentlessly to pass Grom selection as a civilian and uh, joined her father's unit. So I'm guessing if we do indeed have a sister who's in Grom, uh, she would have obviously been into the military, then into Grom. So that's why she's a captain. She went up the ranks, whereas Ella's a total rebel and, you know, basically started from the ground up. And then you've got impressed by her determination and uh, prowess in the field, the Polish forces took her in. Among the Grom, she developed an ex expertise in counterterrorism threat networks and helped design advanced uh, exploitation methods and extract intel uh, on a target's intentions and supplies. I would like to point out, right, even with all of this information, right, if we were given all this information, apart from obviously this little bit of the bottom that tells all the gadgets and stuff, we would not have been able to tell that this girl was going to have concussion mines. There's nothing in here that even slightly kind of gets to that kind of feeling. And I think it's the same thing with all the teasers that ever come out that actually guessing the gadgets for these operators becomes extraordinarily hard. And that's why usually we find out the gadgets based on leaks instead. So one of her uh, most well-known ventures is Operation Orange Sky. Joined by Valkyrie SEAL's intel expert, Ella spent months infiltrating a warlord's inner circle before dismantling his network without harming a single civilian. Her collaboration with the SEAL provided so fruitful that she was tracked down by Team Rainbow. So Rainbow actually came looking to recruit her, which is apparently very rare. Actually, it's a first for this international group of elite specialists. That might piss off a sister, right? Who's been a really good member of the military and gone through the ranks and Rainbow comes up and picks up your sister who literally just joined Grom and they recruit into this elite special forces. Uh, and then the last line here is quite interesting. Again, it's going back to the family connection again. So it's only a matter of time before we see what mark Ella leaves on her father's family's uh, legacy. Again, another kitchen to our family. There's always these connections to the family. And if indeed we have a sister adding to the mix here, it's going to be interesting. And of course, we finish with some more of our artwork with Ella's little signature. Nice uh, illustration of Valkyrie. And I'm guessing this is the mission they were on. I don't think this has any clues to anything, but for all I know, it might. There might be something in here about the new season or you know something, but I think probably not. And of course, we then have Ella. So yeah, that's my kind of little look further into this. And it's very interesting, like the artwork, the potential sister here, the and the whole backstory of her grandfather right here, which seems to match up with the teaser we've seen. So what are we seeing here? Are we seeing a sister joining or is it something else? Are they kind of is it, you know, is it a red heron? Are they tricking us? Are they getting us to really discuss, you know, really talking about this? Like, I don't think I've spent so much time thinking and talking about teasers for a game ever. And especially with Rainbow. Rainbow was usually pretty clean cut. It was usually pretty simple. And now we're getting these deep backstories that really don't shed any light on these operators. But it's freaking awesome to actually think about. And I love that they're making this thick backstory. So anyway, guys, that's the last little bit of digging I've done. And if things continue on, we're sh we should have another teaser tomorrow. If not, next Tuesday will probably be the next teaser. And of course, there's always the chance that we're going to get leaks again as well. Anyway, guys, 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.